WordPress multi-site allows you to create multiple WordPress sites within a single instance, instead of having to create multiple WordPress instances for each site. In this video, we will configure a WordPress multi-site instance in Amazon LightSail. To learn more about WordPress multi-site, browse to the article shown on the screen in the WordPress Codex website. The steps covered in this video include getting the default administrator password for the WordPress multi-site dashboard, defining the WordPress multi-site primary domain, signing into the WordPress multi-site dashboard, adding sites to the WordPress multi-site instance using domains or subdomains, and adding an address record to the DNS zone for the WordPress multi-site primary domain. Now, before completing these steps, there's a few things we need to do first. Create a WordPress multi-site instance in Amazon LightSail. Create a static IP and attach it to the instance. Create a DNS zone with a registered domain, then point it to the static IP in Amazon LightSail. Browse to the article shown on the screen if you need information about how to set up these prerequisites. Okay, let's get started. So by this point, you should have a running WordPress multi-site instance with a static IP and a domain pointed to the static IP of the instance. The default administrator password for the WordPress multi-site dashboard is stored in a text file on the instance. By using SSH, connect to the instance to get the default administrator password. The browser-based SSH terminal in the LightCell console is the easiest way to connect to an instance. Use the cat bitnami application password command shown on the screen to get the default administrator password. Highlight the password, open the browser-based SSH client clipboard, and then copy or cut the password to your local clipboard. We use this password later in this video to sign into the WordPress multi-site dashboard. We're connected to the instance, so we will define the primary domain of the WordPress multi-site using the bnconfig tool. The bnconfig tool, also known as the Bitnami configuration tool, is a command line tool that you use to configure the application on the instance. In this case, we will use it to configure the WordPress multi-site application. Use the change directory command shown on the screen to navigate to the WordPress application directory. Use the machine hostname command shown on the screen to define the primary domain of the WordPress multi-site in the Bitnami configuration tool. When you enter the command, be sure to replace example.com with your own registered domain. I'm using robbox123.com for the purposes of this video. At this point, you should disable the Bitnami configuration tool. Otherwise, every time the server starts, it will reset the machine hostname to its IP address. Disable it by using the command shown on the screen. At this point, if we browse to the domain, we should see the WordPress multi-site main blog. Now we want to sign in to the dashboard of the WordPress multi-site. To do so, choose the Bitnami logo on the bottom right corner of the page. Make note of the username, because you'll need it to log in. Now choose Login. Enter the username and the default administrator password that we got earlier in this video. Now we're signed into the dashboard, so we can configure the WordPress multi-site to add sites. Sites can be added using domains or subdomains. WordPress multi-site is designed to use multiple domains or subdomains for each site that is created. If you choose to use domains, then every site added to the WordPress multi-site will use its own Apex domain. So you can use example.com for one site and robox123.com for another site, both on the same WordPress multi-site instance. If you choose to use subdomains, then every site added will use a subdomain of the WordPress multi-site's primary domain, which was defined earlier in this video. In our case, example.robox123.com, blog.robox123.com, test.robox123.com, and so on can be used. In this video, I'll configure the WordPress multi-site to use subdomains for its sites. However, if you want to learn how to configure WordPress multi-site to use domains for its sites, then browse to the article shown on the screen. Let's add a site as a subdomain. Choose My Sites, Network Admin, and then Sites. Add a new site with a subdomain site address, a site title, language, and an admin email address. 
The site has been created, but the subdomain doesn't yet point to the new site on the WordPress multi-site instance. To point the subdomain to the new site, you need to add an address record, also known as an A record, to the DNS zone for the WordPress multi-site domain. Open the LightCell console, then go to the DNS zone for the domain. Add an A record for the subdomain that we just defined as the new site. Then point it to the static IP attached to the WordPress multi-site instance. After the change propagates through the Internet's DNS, the domain will redirect to the new site on the WordPress multi-site instance. You'll need to add an A record for every subdomain that you use for a site on your WordPress multi-site instance. In this video, we showed you how to configure a WordPress multi-site instance in Amazon LightSail. For more information about the steps covered in this video, browse to the article shown on the screen. Thank you for watching.